so small. Wow. Really interesting and cool. And you could probably put like six. There it is. Whoa. Camera's back on. Let's set him up. Woo! With catch him all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch him up. Here we are with my lovely wife assistant, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Okay, guys, today we are shooting the smallest, the smallest crossbow ever. A solid new crossbow I've never tried before that you can load with one finger. That's a boat fishing crossbow. We're actually going to take that and see if we can catch some fish back here because there's a lot of invasives. And the smallest bow on the planet like that is they're all so small show your hands next to the actually go ahead let's just get get right into it let's see that hold that thing on your hand that is ridiculous okay yeah okay so put that down for a second let's get the arrow rigged up because i noticed the tips are like with little plastic arrow shafts okay cool you got a tip cool yeah shove it in there you can go ahead this is kind of soft so you can just, yeah, I don't think that'll mess up the tip too bad. Get it in there, go ahead. Some man behind it. Yeah, slide it all the way down. All the way down, you almost got it. Cool. Now, these things actually shoot, and now we could actually hunt this invasive curly tail lizards. There was one a second ago. Put it in here? Yeah, put it in there. And then we have a pumpkin to shoot. We're going to test all three of these first before we actually use them in the field, in the wild, in the bush, in the water. But we will test them and we will catch something. I promise you that. All right, cool. Yep. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> okay, cool. So you're going to do it that way. I'm going to get on the other side then. Yeah, you can get pretty much point blank. Let's see if you can even penetrate. Oh. You snooze, you lose. User error. User error. I believe in you. Give it a shot. I've used these. That was close. That was close. <laughs> we can sharpen those too. But right now they're blunt because I don't want that to be stuck in my leg. Oh, I did hit it. You hit it. You want to try one more time? You want to... Yes. Go ahead. One more time. If you're too weak, we're going to switch. And I'm going to look cooler than you. But not as pretty. Whoa. That thing has some power. You, you're doing okay. I hit it. Yeah. I think we're gonna switch. Two fingers going here. There's a little place for two of your fingers, and then a little rest for the arrow. I think the best way to do this is to squeeze and pinch it, because if you grab it like a normal arrow to get some pressure behind it, I don't, I don't think that's gonna, it's gonna work because our fingers are too meaty. <laughs> All right, let's give it a shot. Where's our quarry? Oh my god, it's right there. Dead kill shot. First try. Zoom into it. Boom. 10,000 times cooler, but not as pretty. <laughs> Rude. I believe in you. Hey! There you go. Come on. <laughs> not bad, not bad. So, if that can penetrate that deep into the pumpkin i'm gonna get really good with this <laughs> yeah i bet but let's switch off to the next weapon come on i'm busy <laughs> so that is really freaking cool that is so small wow <laughs> now let's try the smallest crossbow ever try that out okay okay so it. these are this the ammo is right here they're little tiny like pen they look like pen shafts Yep, and have the needle facing forward. You can have like six in there at, at the same time, which is sick. Cool, all right, now let go of that. Now, when you push forward, wait, don't do it yet, don't do it yet. If you push forward, it loads it, and then when you pull back, it shoots. So if you lift it up, if you lift that up, and then, don't do it yet, aim at the pumpkin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> get low, get low. Get like point blank. Get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now you gotta push forward all the way forward. Yep, now pull back and make sure it's aimed. Oh, close. 
Not working. Uh oh, switch. Fired. <laughs> here, switch. We have these guys right here. That's going in there. Okay, so you push forward. Okay, now it shoots. Ready, guys? Got to zoom in to the to the shot, the crossbow and the pumpkin. Oh yeah. What? Got it. Again, I'm gonna do it. Oh. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. Okay, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna try to see if I can rapid fire it now, because that's pretty freaking cool. Okay, y'all, all ready? Try to get pretty close. Ready? Uh oh, I, I messed it up. Okay. Oh, the rapid fire kind of messed it up, but it does work and it can hit the meat of the pumpkin and get stuck. What about my turn? Oh, maybe that's what happened to you. Kind of, kind of got wedged up in there. It has to, they have to lay flat. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna try again. Push forward. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the grouping. Guys, check this out. Oh my gosh. That is pretty, that is pretty solid. That's a solid grouping right there. You want to try one more time, Jordan? You can try again. See, if I women can do it, you should be able to do it at home as well. <laughs> she is a very smart woman. But the power levels, I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 look in it. <laughs> Where'd it go? I don't know. Didn't go. Well, you tried your best. Apparently, you can't use this if you're Stop. a beautiful woman. I'm about to do it. I believe in you. What happened? I found where it went. I got two. Oh, you did? What? I wasn't looking. I zoomed into the one on the ground. Guys, don't focus on the negative. Focus on the positive. You did Butthead. great. Good job. No, I'm doing it again. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you're leaning it forward. You got to lean it back a little bit. But the but you got two of them. Two. Two for two for one special. This thing is really really interesting and cool. And you could probably put like six. There it is. Whoa. Ooh, you could probably put like six. I am a huntress. Oh, huntress. <laughs> Maybe even nine of those little arrows in there. This that, is how vegans hunt. Yes, yeah, how vegans hunt. <laughs> yummy, yummy. You got your pumpkin. <laughs> All right. So now we have this bad boy. Now this thing is solid. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with this thing and show you guys how it works. Actually, yeah, this is pretty this is pretty solid. Alright, this thing was sick. The baby bow, also super sick. We're definitely gonna try to implement these into hunting. This is gonna be tough, but we'll try to make it happen. But for now, I wanted to try this mini, which is still a mini, but obviously a little bit larger. This is about a foot long if I had to say but it's super serious. Now, you load this, all you gotta do is pull one finger and I can load this thing. Now, I usually use three, but one finger. This is built by William Tell Archery. Pretty sick. William Tell Archery. And this is a little badass. Well, I do follow them on Instagram. If you wanna check my Instagram, you can find these guys really easily. William Tell Archery. We're gonna try this out. This is not an ad. This is just really cool. And I was like, hey, can I have one? They're like, hell yeah. And I was like, hell yeah. Can you make it a boat fishing boat? And they said, hell yeah. And I said, hell yeah. <laughs> These are not bow fishing arrows. We do have bow fishing arrows and I'm gonna test them out in the water behind us with some invasives in a minute. But I wanna show you guys this fast loader. Now you see this little thing? This is sick because all we gotta do here is we gotta just shove these arrows one after the other, and we can just have all the, back up a little bit for a second. We can have all of these arrows uh -oh, at the same time. It's a fast loader, sick. I mean, it's a, what's it called? It's like a semi-automatic crossbow. It's the sickest thing ever, so sick.
my heritage crossbow. Everyone knows that Ketchumal was born in Boland. This is amazing. Look at that. So you guys can see every time you lock this, every time you load it, sorry, it locks. So it does have a safety on the back, which is this button. And you have to push it in for it to be for it to be ready to fire. So this looks pretty sick. And I've never shot it before. And hopefully it is as awesome as it looks. It looks so badass. Hope it's as badass as these little things that we found. So let's go ahead and take the pumpkin outside <laughs> because I think this might shoot right through the pumpkin. And let's see how this bad boy does. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, after you, after you, don't worry about me. All right. All right, so let's just go ahead and put this thing somewhere we can find the arrows. That should be good. Okay, now check this out, guys. Check this out. All you gotta do to load this is pull back. That's it. And now it's loaded. So all these arrows, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Holding six arrows right now, and there's room for a couple more. But I have six arrows in this thing right now, and we're and it shoots the bottom one first. So check this out. Can you guys see the pumpkin? Can you see the shot? So now I press this for safety. We're gonna see how accurate this thing is. Dude, it went right through the pumpkin. I hit it. Check this out. Come on over here. This is the entrance. This is the entry hole right there. Can you see that? That's the entry hole. Now look behind it. This is the arrow. Still in the pumpkin, a little bit exit hole right there. And the arrow is right here in the ground. That is so sick. Oh my God. Guys, this is sick. That is amazing. So now all these are still ready to shoot. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna try to shoot all five of these. So check this out. I'm gonna shoot all five kind of angled down so they won't just go everywhere. But to load this, once again, that did not take any effort at all. Safety off. And then, boom, that's it. And then once again, to load it again, safety off. Wow, that is insane. Oh, forgot the safety, safety off. Wow, so I just shot arrows back to back to back. Now check this out, zoom into this grouping. I'm not aiming at all, I just wanted to hit the pumpkin. And the arrows all the way through on this side, look at this, came straight through like, like butter, like butter. And these are practice arrows, these are not broad tips at all, practice arrows. Obviously I was very close because I don't know anything about this crossbow at all. But now we're gonna check this thing out with the bow fishing setup behind it. This is so sick so far, but check this out. So you guys see, this is fishing line. Now what we're gonna do is put on the bow fishing arrow, flip this around. This might be a badass bow fishing setup, dude. This might be the coolest little bow fishing bow and the smallest for sure that we've ever had. There's a lot of invasive back there. Let's go switch things up. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So now, as you can see, just to hold this where it is, I flipped this. This was holding all those arrows before. Now, this is just on the bottom side. You can put it either way, but just so I don't lose this piece, I don't want to put it in a bag somewhere. I just flip this over. So now I can't put a bunch of arrows stacked, but what I can do is put on my bow fishing arrow. Now this is a custom made arrow for this specific crossbow. And what we're gonna try to do is nab one of the invasives behind us. There's a bunch of fish that come up as you guys as you guys have seen, but in the morning you can really see them. So what I'm gonna do now is before I even load this crossbow or anything, I'm gonna tie this up. But actually I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good pull. And that 
is almost loaded. That's 50% loaded. That is ready to put the arrow in and shoot. And you can have a better idea of what we're looking at here. Mini, no effort. That really did not take any effort at all. It's amazing. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so this comes with this little tiny Zebco reel. You could put whatever you want. I'm just using it as is to give you guys a proper review. Uh, this mini striker, it's really cool. Made by William, made by William Tell Archery. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Definitely gonna need to have a pliers if you're ever bow fishing to get the, just to get the arrows alone out of the fish. So if you keep, here's a, here's a tip. Keep the drag super light, always. So even if you do forget to, to press that button so you have just line that comes out loosely, if you forget, you won't blow up your entire rig. Because <laughs> trust me, people have made that mistake quite a few times. So I'm going to just go ahead, take my, this is clear fishing line. This is definitely less than 15 pound test. Now I'm just going to rig this arrow up really quick. And it's not going to take me very long at all. I'm just doing a loop knot, leaving it very loose. If you guys haven't seen me, do this on the bow fishing uh, videos that I've made before, I suggest you go back because it's a thicker string and it's much easier to follow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, bring it kind of tight. One, two, I'm basically making a big old giant loop. Right here. And see, the whole key to this is that that goes over the back. So when the arrow is flying, this can be directly behind it. That's all you really want. Once you do that, then you're golden. That loop needs to be like that. So that can slide freely. So you make it bigger, not smaller. All right, so we're good on that end. I'm gonna cut the tag end. Extremely light line. Sheesh. All right, so that means if this gets stuck, we're not just yanking this out. We're going to have to go for it. So this is going to have to be like a perfect shot in open water. So now to load this thing, we're going to go ahead and load it while we're by the water. Don't want to have any mistakes since I am new to this mini crossbow, although it has been perfect, especially with the pumpkin. So we're going to go ahead, grab our second arrow, and we're going to head over here with all the ducks and everything. Oh, hold on a second. Got this bad boy hanging. We're gonna make all the ducks happy, and then we're gonna make one of those invasive species of fish very unhappy, so come on. Remember, we're 50% loaded. All right, I'm also gonna turn on the GoPro for you guys right now. Let's see, should be rolling. Rolling, rocking. All right, cool. There's actually fish already up here waiting for us now. We tried to feed the gar, we tried to feed everything. There's a lot of carp that they put in here, but there's a ton of tilapia, like, uh, uh, what's it called, Mayan cichlids, all types of invasives along with the gar. They're actually, they're actually staring at me right here. Look at these guys. They're all over the place. If I could pin any of these, that'd be great. Look, look over to the right. Oh my gosh. So these guys are all sitting here. Not too bad, okay. What I'm gonna do now. Okay, so since they're all sitting there right now. It's okay. I can see fish lined up. But now the ducks, you don't wanna hit any ducks. Look at the geese right behind you. Okay. That's going to be an issue. We don't want to hit any of these guys. So while we're feeding, we have to shoot around these guys. <laughs> it's a little tough. It's a little tough. But we're going to have to go for it. Otherwise, we're going to have to keep it moving and find a new spot. But this is a good way to thin out some of these invasives. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to load this bad boy. All right, calm down, calm down. All right. I don't think you guys want to mess with this. Just 
just to shut these guys up really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and start feeding. <laughs> Now, if you come over here, you'll see a bunch of fish come up in the mix over here with all the ducks. Now, we're going to have to shoot between all of these ducks. That's the that's a issue right here. So, when one of these fish comes up, we're going to have to shoot them. It's going to be pretty difficult to do. There's something big down there, too. I don't want to get a carp that is illegal. Okay. Oh, big carp. <laughs> Big heart just came up. Let's see. They also murk up the water a little bit too. But when things start to slow down a little bit, well, we should have a pretty decent shot at either one of these catfish or one of these invasive tilapia type species of fish. There's a lot coming up. Hitting one of these catfish would be like insane. All right. One more, nice and shallow. Nice and shallow. Then I'm gonna take one more just to hold. Okay. Put this right here. As I load this bad boy, come on the other side for me, honey, would you? I was about to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now the way I'm loading this, check this out, the way I'm loading this, is you have to make sure this screw is up. All right, slide under there perfectly. Now we are good. Clean, that can slide back and forth. We are good to go. And you want the line in front of any type of mechanical thing. So now that's nice and tight. That's gonna fly off perfectly. Now is when I press that button, bomb. So now when this arrow flies off, it pulls out everything flawlessly. Now there's a catfish, so a bunch of catfish. I have another thing of fish food right here. All right, Let's see if we can get rid of one of these invasives. We could just get a catfish or a tilapia, I'd be super happy. These carp are not going to help us. The gar on the surface, too. But I don't want to blind shoot. There's a bunch of ducks in the way, too. So stay wide. See if we can pin out one of these things. Oh, look at the gar take two. Oh, look at the gar grabbing the ducks. Look at this guy. All right. But I am ready to shoot. That would be mindful where this is that should be good safety off and I don't want to shoot this right in the mud that's the thing catfish right here it's gonna be tough catfish and turtle turtles no turtles oh there's a tilapia out there that's a far shot though Ooh. Catfish, catfish. Need kinda need these ducks to get away. I wonder if maybe um, oh, there's a catfish right here. Can we throw some food over there? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah, but in a second there I'll be very upset. <laughs> yeah. If we hit a duck. No duck. But there are some there's a catfish down. Ooh. Dang. Ooh. Tilapia down there too. This thing is pretty sick. Look at that, look at that gar right there. Bomb, that would be the easiest shot of all time. But that's not what we're after today. These gar back here are our friends. Let's see. Catfish almost got it. I'm gonna try to spread out the food a little bit. See if that, see if that works. Hold on. Go over there. Maybe. 
That should help a little bit. That's over there. See if we got some of these fish on Whoa, this side. Look at all that. Yeah. Now I gotta try to hit one of these things. It's gonna be tough. That fish on the surface. Alright. No carp. Get all the ducks moved to that side. If we can get one of these tilapia, that'd be great too. Ooh, don't want to hit that carp. We're just patient. Ooh, that's a nice tilapia. You should have a good shot at them. Ooh, look at this catfish on the surface. Whoa, I'm gonna pull the trigger on that bad boy. Look at it. I think I got him. I was sure, sure close. Nope. Dude, that was close though. That was close. The good thing is I did not lose my arrow. Which is what I was worried about too. Okay, great. So now we gotta reload. And feed the ducks. And feed the ducks again. There's plenty of food for them. But we're not gonna have any chance. All oh, there is is tilapia on the surface. Okay, so you feed the ducks? Don't worry about the ducks. The ducks are going back and forth. They're gonna keep worried going. about the ducks. <laughs> okay. Super easy to reload this thing, it's so cool. All right, here we go. All right. Not too bad. And now we're gonna reel in our slack. Tilapia are scraping up the extra little bits. That's one to the left. We're gonna go ahead and throw some more food. There's a nice tilapia cruising on the surface over there. We have to make sure that we press this button. Okay, now we are good to shoot. We just have to hit one of these things. There's catfish on the surface right here. Oh, tilapia out there feeding. Oh, there's a, there's a carp there too though. There's catfish underbelly. Mm. And ducks. Yeah. Gotta not hit the dust. Oh, baby. <laughs> Alright. Come on, come to me. They're getting smarter after that one shot. See, with my regular bow, I definitely have the confidence to smoke all these things. But I want to make sure that I know the feeling of this bow before I'm just blasting things off. He's a car. <laughs> it would be super easy. Okay, come on. See it's a lot of you like that. He's a little closer. Now they're all spread out. That guy would be awesome. Ooh. We just gotta wait for our shot. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. I love watching the the garb press through the dark. The bed. There's a tilapia moving over here. Yeah, what about that? Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. Look at this guy right here. Come on. Look at these guys. Come on. Totally hit him. Had to hit him. Had to hit that thing. What? Oh, I hit him for sure. Look, he came he even swam back to the surface. That's crazy. I gotta check this.
Hip is still good. I don't know. I don't <laughs> the know duck if I said, hit no, right thank you. Huh? The duck. The white one swam yeah. away. Yeah, like, no way. All right. Live action. Nothing between. First time trying this. It's the easiest thing to reload ever for a kid or someone who's just getting into it. Because everybody who has ever used a, 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 what's it called, a crossbow knows to reload this thing, normally you have to step on it, pull it back. It's very difficult to do. Let's see. I'm gonna throw some more feed. Ooh, unless this guy's coming right to me. Come on. Come on. That water over there in the shallow one. Make it rain on them ducks. <laughs> okay, let's see. I should have put this feed shallow here too. There it is. There it is. No ducks will be hurt in the making of this video. Come on. Where you be? Fucking right under the duck. He's catfish. Smart. Right? When it's pressed for release, we're ready to go. Catfish low. What about right down at the bottom? I don't really want to shoot the bottom because I don't want this stuck in the bottom. It's got to be a surface shot. But look at this ah. guy eating. Right under the duck. Right under the duck. Come on. Dude, look at these things, dude. Come to the surface. I could snipe the hill on that thing. Come on. You need a surface shot, though. I'm like, literally eating the duck. So funny. Like three cats into the duck. Come on, duck, move. Move out of the way. <laughs> Look at the catfish right here. In the shallow. Look at them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this would go down there and get them. I'd much rather shoot at one that's eating off the surface. Smart shot. Push back a little bit. Come on. Gotta take your time. It's like, oh, look at this one, right between the ducks. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna move slower too. Come on. Come on, big boy. <laughs> the catfish's heads are really hard. This is a big one right here. That'd be a nice one. He's just down deep. Mr. Gar, get that catfish up here. Come on. Dude, I almost want to shoot that thing. I really want to get a surface shot really bad. I know the visibility isn't that good. I had to have gotten this thing. Oh, I drilled it! <gasps> drilled it! With no ducks Drilled it! Drilled it! Good job, Perfect man. shot! Oh, stone that thing. Look at this. Look at that catfish. Stoned it. Now that thing will stab you, so let me hold it low. This is a so... So this is the first thing I shot with this bad boy. Oops, holding it wrong way. Was not too bad. That is 
That is close to a world record or a Florida record walking catfish. Ironically, drilled that thing, came up and absolutely stoned him. Solid, solid fish. Hold on a second. Look at his Yeah. That thing is done. Dude, that was such, that was worth the wait. That is a solid fish. And now you've seen there's so many of these things. We're not going to stop them, but we can definitely do our part here and there. This is a good way to do it. That is so sick. That is so sick. Okay, so you can actually eat these guys. I'm not going to eat them because he was from this stuff behind us. You know, I don't really trust it. But you can eat these guys and they do taste okay. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. That was sick. It was worth the wait. We had to be really patient just because of my confidence lacking in shooting this thing. But, dude, that was pretty sick. Let's see how much power this thing has together. Let's just shoot off into the distance. All right. You got this? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, my God. Woo! <laughs> that thing went... That thing went a mile, and that was a pretty pretty straight shot, dude. I think we should take this. We might have to take this and really, really put this thing to the test. I just tested it out back here to see how it would do. This thing is pretty freaking cool. If I didn't grab the string, this would have kept going. Huh? Yeah, that was that was actually pretty pretty far. Ready guys? I'm not missing this shot. Ooh. Unless I don't take the shot at all. Rounds back. Single amount. Come a little closer, baby. I know I see you little guy. There's an Oscar right in the center center frame it's not what we want cool to know there's Oscars in here though god here we go damn that is such a far shot Okay. It's like blue and um, like coral. Those are uh, those are Mayan cichlids. Here they come. Here's the gar. See, there's little, there's a few pellets right over here. Okay, we're ready to go. Safety's off. This guy right here. Ooh, that guy. Come on. It's a hard shot. Keep coming. Look, he's gonna cut. He's gonna get eat right in front of me. Turn this way. Come here. Try not to move an an inch. Oh, look at this guy. It's a big one. Ah, I think I, I think I actually shot under it. Damn, that sucks. Okay, now. Oh, look, look, look. Now they're all coming. No. I know. I know. I know. Oh my god. Okay, so now I'm reloading as fast as I can, which is pretty fast. Oh my god, he's right here looking looking at me. Oh my god. I know on the surface, dude. Okay. Okay, he's ready to go. Make sure we're clean and it's right here. I had to. Oh, I stunned something else. I got one. I got one. I think I shot behind him. Look, 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 look. <laughs> I shot and I missed him and I got something behind him. Look, 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 look. I hit this Mayan. No, it's not. Oh! No! Oh, you got to No, are you kidding me? 
Well, at least we know that this is working. This is, it's just user error. <laughs> Overall, this thing is pretty badass. I mean, even with this light line, did not break the line. Then again, I did not shoot it into the dirt, which can be a problem probably, but you could easily upgrade this line to like 80 pound test and it would still have plenty of, plenty of torque to fling this arrow into pretty much anything. That was pretty sick. The William Tell Archery Mini Cross, bro. Mini Striker. Just loading that thing back and forth with one finger, that's incredible. I mean, you can use three fingers, but honestly, all it did is take one finger for me to put all of that power behind this little arrow to be able to shoot fish over and over. This is, this is sick, and it just looks so cool, guys. But yeah, William Tell Archery. I do follow them on my Instagram. If you want to check them out, William Tell Archery. So sick. Cool thing, cool product. Thanks for sending it to me, William. Want to try it out. And for hunting, dude, this thing would be the most fun ever. But I just don't show that on this YouTube because YouTube, you know, I try to keep it <laughs> as G as possible. But man, this thing stacked up, especially with multiple hunting arrows. Bom, 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 just like we took care of that pumpkin. This thing is pretty badass, guys. But stay tuned for the next episode, guys. We got a lot to do out here and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Catch them all.